three minute Friday, maximum information in the shortest amount of time. Let's get started. All over the social media, you see all these new archery instructor experts telling you how to do katra. And the most common used term is now double release. And then they stand there and they show you double release works like this way, but they mostly to do Slavic because they learned from Mihai. Double release is this. So you do this. And this is then your katra, your double release. Did you ever try put two? strings down there and then pull them apart and try to let them go at the same time. Do a slow motion and see how often you manage to really let them go at the same time. Try to time it always right to get this double release done. And of course there are guys, they figured out double release can be a little tricky, can be hit or miss. What if I initiate the shot with my draw hand and this is what I, I think I did a video about it long ago, teach in my courses, at least in my advanced courses, that when you stand in full draw, you initiate with this hand your draw. So it's not directly a double release, you initiate with this and with this motion here, you know, okay, now it's time to let go. And this gives you timing wise always the same arrows fly straight. You can do now your torque and whatever you have, but you initiate with this hand. And now of course everybody is not doing this because... And they figured it all out by themselves like I did a few years ago. Very good. But this is not what I want to talk about. The issue when you look at them then on their TikTok and whatever YouTube videos, and then they tell you what you have to do with your hand. If you join one of my courses, you know that the hand is the last part we take care of because every motion in every martial art and whatever have you starts here, goes over your shoulder, goes over your elbow, comes into your hand. And I miss that in all these teachings. They only tell you what you have to do with your hand, but they don't care about the shoulders. And when you see them standing there, and but at least they do, they do their katra. Wonderful. Just long term, I guess, not useful. Every motion, the left arm, when it comes forward from the shoulder. So it's not, I move my hands and shoot. This is how, how I see some. And then they have an inconsistent draw and the release happens by accident or whatever. From your shoulder to your elbow to your hand. And here's the same, from the shoulder to the elbow to the hand. And then you have the connection between all the joints. Otherwise, if you only move your hands, you have this distance to punch and you use only your hand if I tell you, you have this distance to punch, but you use your whole body, you get the point? Yes. From here and from here, the snake arm. This is where you stand, shoulder width apart. Then your motion, actually you start from here or from your legs, but we start from the shoulder. And then you just think shoulder, elbow, hand. So it's not, I put my hand there. I start with my shoulder, then with my elbow, then with my hand. And when I go backwards, the same. But I did a video about this. I wonder why nobody's watching it. Shoulder, elbow, hand. So when you draw back, it's not the hand goes back. First the shoulder, elbow, hand. Shoulder, elbow, hand. Shoulder, elbow, hand. And at the end, the motion comes from your hara, from your dantian, from your center. Shoulder, elbow, hand. Shoulder, elbow, hand. Then you might get this idea that you need a connection to your hands. It's not that your hands are moving, it's your shoulder. If the shoulder is not controlling the elbow, the elbow cannot control your hand. If you only move your hands without engaging the rest. And I don't claim in any way, shape or form that I invented this. This is just pure body knowledge and pure knowing if you do martial art, where it comes from. It comes never from the hand. There's always something first. Then you have this shoulder, elbow, hand. And then you initiate with this hand. I call it now a split double release because we need a new name. So it's now the, this one initiates with a split second before and then the other hand knows what to do. And then the arrows fly straight, fast. You are accurate on your target. And then you can do your torque. Shoulder, elbow, hand. Shoulder, elbow, hand. If you do katra, start here and not here, please. 
or all your instructors out, give them the whole. Otherwise, you know, you, you start doing something and you know these bad habits and my most big habit I have from all my advanced courses are the shoulders, that the shoulders are up. And if they even manage that this shoulder is down, then this shoulder is up back there and then I stand like this and shoot. How can this work? It doesn't work. You need to get both shoulders down. That's why shoulder, elbow, hand. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.